Okay, this is Snake 29. Ask me why I recognize it's suckering everywhere. <laughs> okay, so in here probably it's time to say goodbye to this. Here I have a flower bud and I'm doing click. Here I have almost nothing, I, I can start over. I have a bud, I have another bud here. This is exhausted, I'm starting again. I'm clicking here, start over. In the middle, usually I cut a little bit more because it's, it's the way that I have to put light inside, you understand? And, and then when you have this thin canopy, you can go a little bit higher because the, the, the porosity of the canopy allowed you to have light also uh, uh, through the canopy to the other row, you know. <coughs> and here, I keep going, look at that. Flower bud, I got it. Flower bud, I, uh, I have two, one, two, and I put the, my click pruning here. This one is exhausted, I start over. Here I have two very nice bud, I produce fruit here. Here again, so flower bud, click pruning. This one is a little bit too big for me, I start over. Again, this one, I can take it for one year and, and I click. Too big, I remove it. This one I click prune, this is uh, one fruit here, I can have it. Click prune and remove it. This is, I have to be clean. Okay. Yeah, later I will use it. Thank you, Tom. So, too big. <laughs> you know that? Uh, can I can I share something personal with you? In Italy, we don't prune with Lopra. We prune only with this one. And uh, because we have a really small tree and uh, we really don't need the uh, lopper to do the things unless you cut the top. Okay, one thing that you have to be consistent if you, if you decide to go the things is 1.5 feet means that you are not closing the tree like that but here we have a structural issue and all the trees slide okay and but uh, you have to think that uh, those have to be vertical axe okay and all of them have to be 1.5 feet away okay and then we will discuss about how we we start the things Then we, we will do the top. So, and, and, and this cut here, the intention is the fruit is right here and, and you oh. oh, yeah, so yeah. this was the reason, but uh, uh, this gives me an opportunity. So another thing that you have to know is that uh, the, the wood of this variety is really brittle. Very easy to, to break, okay? So look, if you, if you do that, you snap. Okay, so this is, uh, is really something that you have to keep in mind. If you, if you are bending branches or, or something like that, uh, you really need to do them when, uh, when there is a subflow. Otherwise, it can be painful. Okay. Thank you. Platform. Go back to better. Okay, probably now I need it. Okay.
This one is too vertical, I start over again. This one I trim, this one I got the fruit. And now, for full down, will be my last pruning <coughs> demonstration. Do from the hospital the next one. Okay, you have to imagine those one vertical, and then you end up your tree like that. You have to remove this big guy here. You try to, to look which of them are more similar, and then you end up the tree like that. And you have uh, here, you split the vigor, you increase the number of uh, limbs over your tree, and you make your tree very thin and, and the fruit are really well exposed. On top of that, you can mechanically thin, you can mechanically prune, and probably you can mechanically harvest.